Like everything in life is quite planned. Whether you're driving or in business, that's what life is all about. It's planning. And so and very, very important for driving is to plan ahead of it, okay? You do a series of obstacles, you'll start over here and you'll end over there. You'll then bring the car around slowly, park it and then the next drive. The Business Day Motoring Magazine invited Fields of Green for All to the Gerotech skid pan outside Pretoria to find out what happens when we smoke Dacher and drive. This is the Gerotech test to find out what happens when you drive stoned. I haven't had a smoke since last night. I'm going to take this wuss little Amarok round these tracks now. Then we're going to get blazed. Then we're going to see what the difference is. But we can kind of know what the answer is. Who was it? Much better without a handbrake on. So we have complete faith in you, that's why we're in the car with you, okay? Jesus, dude, I'd be doing 720s. <laughs> After the sober circuit, we headed back to the LARPA for a not so wake and bake of joints, bongs, and dab rigs, whatever the crew's personal preference. Even the occasional user motor journalists had a toke to level the playing field. Woo I've been 14 years of my life and I have had THC in 30, but I've never done it on a skid pad and I've not, never tried to get from A to B as quick as I possibly can. Apart from maybe a film set once or twice earlier in the morning. Stand out of the slime and turn it, hold on! She needs to lose the traction control. I'm reminding myself this is medicine. <laughs> Yeah, I had quite a medium sort of size dab. Okay. And um, it's basically just kept me running. I should be flooring it like, yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Makes it more fun. It sure does. Skin pans on HD. <laughs> Do you think the cones are a lot brighter, so now <laughs> you can actually fucking see. So I'm going to be real, Oaks. I'd never drive this fucking eye. Hey? I'm like a 10 out of 10 maximum baked. But let's see what happens. I'm gonna give it the beans. <laughs> that was brilliant! Yeah, let's do that again. Should we go for six dads? <laughs> it's a lot more pressure. I think the pressure is what I honestly feel. Find right? a person from his first run to his second run should improve between one and three seconds. So, I don't, not, 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 if you ever look at the time, some of you are getting quicker, but it's, it could be because you're getting used to the grip levels, um, you're getting used to the car, you're getting used to the grip. But just a couple of things I've noticed um, on your second, your third run. Some of the, um, your decision making has definitely been, just from my side, been altered. I can see when you're going through the beacons, you're a little bit slower, a little bit lazier. You tend to overdrive the car, which means the car is starting to slide a lot more. Measuring cannabis and driving is very subjective. There are many variables, and there isn't a recognized roadside cannabis breathalyzer yet. Crew time should have got faster as we learned the course, but in reality, our times on average stayed the same, and the occasional users hit more bollards than the experienced cannabis users. We'd like to thank Business Day Motoring Section, Geritech Test Facilities, and Volkswagen South Africa for sponsoring this exercise. Let's do it again one day alongside an alcohol test. Safe driving.